This is... This is... This is... What? This is... School on the 4th of January 2022. And so, I'm um, Tuesday. Uh, <coughs> so it turns out that the guy that left has he's gone for good. Um so I I grew a beard out of sort of respect for him but and I was gonna keep it because I think that I'm not able to sort of kinda grow one you know, instead of going all into the neck, it's now going into the cheeks a bit. And if it were to grow out more, it would still look terrible, but it's better than what it was. And I was going to keep it, but I was wearing a mask a good chunk of the day uh, due to reasons that I refuse to get into. Um, because TMI. Uh, and... The beard was just digging, or the mask was sort of digging the hairs into me. So I'm not gonna, I'm gonna shave it, like, probably tonight or tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so I spent 35 minutes explaining that the rules for the coronavirus stuff has changed. When really it hasn't. Out of all the things that we talked about. The only thing that changed. Was the amount of time that you have to isolate for. Because. It used to be 10 days. They've now reduced it to 7 days. And you have to take a. A lot PCR or a lab flow. On the 6th and 7th day. If both days. Your test comes back negative. You can go on the 7th day. Uh, in media. Wait. Sorry it's been, it's been a while. We talked about post-colonialism. Uh, and I've heard that term thrown around for a long time now. And I uh, understand what the theory of post-colonialism is. And it's that. Obviously you know about the colonizations. Uh. Uh, you know, Britain sees it, Britain takes it. Um, and one of those things that they took was Africa, the entire continent. Um, but it's, they're independent now. Uh, and the reason why Britain took it in the first place is because they saw themselves as superior to Africa. And... Even though they're not gone, they still see themselves as superior to Africa because uh, Africa relies on them for help. Like, isn't it true? Because one, they're not relying exclusively on Britain for help. And two, economically, Britain is superior to Africa. Like, all of Africa. Um, because... Most, if not all, countries in the continent of Africa are third world countries. I guess that's just truth. Anyway. Um, I, I was reading a book. And I was going to talk about this. But I decided not to. Because I thought it'd be better to talk about it in the in the review. But what has happened is that it was split up into multiple parts. Which, I mean, Game of Thrones does that as well. Because Game of Thrones, I own two copies of A Storm of Swords. Like, the two different sizes, two different covers. Uh, but one of them says, one, steel and snow. And the other says, two, blood and gold. And that this book has done the same thing. But it's a Japanese book. With no official English translation. So 
multiple fans have dedicated themselves to translating the book, but all of them have given up. Um, so not all of it was translated, so I'm fine. I'll probably be fine until tomorrow because the first book is just a Google Doc. The second book is on Wattpad. The third, fourth and fifth book are on Tumblr. But the fourth and fifth books are just summaries and not actual translations. And there are no translations for 7 and 8. Or 6 and 7, sorry. <coughs> um, and I had all this, you know, everything from Tumblr and Wattpad on my iPad for quite a while. And I think it because it's been there for quite a while, whoever, I know that when you're on the computers, it's C2K. Who chooses to ban the websites? I don't know if that's how it works on the iPads. So it's either the school has seen that I'm looking at this because it's been on my iPad since like the twenty first of December. Um, <clears throat> and they've decided to take it off because Dylan Hamilton uh, can go screw himself, or. The European Union has seen it and decided to take it off because Dylan Haldeman can go screw himself. Either way, Dylan Haldeman can go screw himself. So, um, oh, and I probably should have mentioned this before talking about media, but uh, I was talking about the books and forum class and People were calling me names because I was complaining about the fact that it took down Wattpad and Tumblr and I was trying to explain to them what it was when really they should know what it is. Not Tumblr and Wattpad, but the particular book. But they claim that they don't. And I'm not saying that they really do because there is a possibility that they genuinely don't, but I just don't believe them. Anyway, uh, mentoring Miss uh, said she was going to go watch Far From, or not, No Way Home, but she didn't because everyone around her got sick. Um, <clears throat> and then, Darren said she's a fan of skins. And then, instead of, we're no longer with my year eight form teacher for PD because it's no longer PD, it's now citizenship. I'm probably still gonna call it PD though. And it's now this I think she's Scottish. Like she was talking about how she lived in Scotland for years, but I do hear a bit of a Scottish accent in her voice, so I think she is Scottish. This teacher who I guess is new for citizenship and it was just she asked us to discuss these five questions. Uh, what is a dictatorship? What is communism? What is democracy? Do we live in a democracy? And who do we elect in Northern Ireland? Of course, I already knew the answers to all of them, bar who do we elect in Northern Ireland? Because I know, <clears throat> like, for me, the question is, what is, or what was Arlene Foster's job title because I didn't know I nearly said prime minister but she's first minister anyway total recall 2070 mixed ratings showtime original series preggy dead like me uh I don't I come I've already forgotten whether or not it was said the ratings just in case I haven't mixed ratings somehow. Watch it on YouTube. And I can't believe I'm going to say this for a Philip K. Dick adaption. It's not good. This is Twitter. As of 25 past 5 p.m. Um, 
I know it's been a while since I've done memes, but that's that's not uh, intentional. There just hasn't been anything. I've been free Instagram recently. However, I am considering stopping it because I used to download the memes because there was a bunch of bots that you can just ping uh, to download videos off Instagram, but I stopped doing it because the one that I was using stopped working. And I just never thought about tagging another one of those bots. But I'm going to consider doing that now. And when it comes to photos, I'll just screenshot and crop them. Uh, anyway. Free Love. It's a good song by KJ Elephant. Free Healthcare. Free Press. Free Speech? No. And I think he's a racist. Really prove it. I don't know why I paused it when you can clearly see that there was something right below that and if he's a racist tweet. A uh, person made by Yugula as you could part of alt right Boogaloo meme surf Kali Yuga Connect the dots, please wake up. No idea what this guy's saying. Board apes getting called out for using race iconography and now their community's crap and its pants as their investment is about to dump. Uh, Floydies, NFT. Hi, Floydies fans, and sorry to the people who have lost their Floydies because of the delisting on, I think, OpenSea. Uh, I haven't made a tweet about it yet, as I've been trying to find a solution. I want you all to know we are working on it, and we will make this right. No Floydie left behind. Hey, it's Fido. Uh... Remember this guy was constantly getting in arguments with Data. By the way, it's been nearly a year since Data was gone. I'm gonna check up on him. Yeah, um, he, he's gone. I don't know if it sounds like I'm crying, I'm not. So, Patton Oswald took a photo with Dave Chappelle. You can't see when this is from. I'm going to assume from Patton's hair that it's recent. Um, because it's only like a couple of years ago it was black. Although it could have been dye. Because the last time I seen him in the live action thing was Veep. And that was 2019. But anyway. Finished me set at... I'm going to text him Dave Chappelle, come over to the arena, he's performing next door, and do a guest set. Why not? We have goodbye to this hell year with a genius and sort of comedy with 34 years ago. He works on arena like he's talking to one person and claiming their skin off. Anyway, I ended the year with a real friend and deep laugh. Can't ask for much more. Yeah, so either it's going to be 2020 or 2021, considering we're talking about a hell year. Um... I know that he works his ass off because he does a lot of stuff. Uh, but so, you know, it, it could be just like a normal year. But I'm just going to assume it's a coronavirus year. So, a friend I haven't seen in a long time this New Year's Eve. We've known each other since we're teens. He's a fellow comedian, the funniest ever met. I want to post a pic and an energy story about it. So, I did. The friend is Dave Chappelle. 34 years. We've been friends. He's refocused and refined ideas a lot. I was took a set all about race and history and life on planet Earth and spun them around with a phrase or a punchline. We've done bad and good gigs, open mics and TV tapings, but we've also 100% dis 100% disagree about transgender rights and representation. I support trans people's rights. Anyone's rights to live safely in the world as their fullest selves for all the things he's helped me evolve on always disagree with where he stands now on transgender issues but I also don't believe a seeker like him has done evolving learning you know someone that long you see the struggles and changes it's impossible to cut them off impossible not be hopeful and open and cheer them on also been carrying a lot of guilt by friends I've Cut off who 
have used with which I couldn't agree or change in ways I couldn't live with. Sometimes I wondered that I, did I and others cutting them off make them dig their heels in deeper, fuel their ignorance with a night group boost of resentment and spite? I'm an LGBTQ ally. No, you're not. Because that's not inclusive enough. It's 2S, 2SLGBTQQIA+. Plus, I think. Although they might have changed it since then. Anyway. I'm a loyal friend. There's friction in those traits that I need to re -con reconcile myself and not let cause feel not let cause feels betrayal on anyone else and I'm sorry truly. Sorry that I didn't consider the hurt this would cause or the depth of that hurt of the messenger and a lot of my key today. Um the back and forth has really helped guide me in the writing of this. I naively deleted a lot of posts in the comment for critical ones from LGBTQ writers and crap posts by trans exclusionary radical feminists slash, slash anti trans orcs looking for clicks and giggles. Wanted a nice comment thread about the pick of my friend. Uh, so easy to think someone else needs growth and mess about the need and yourself gonna keep trying. Ah, come on. I'm gonna assume that when he says turf, he means it literally. Because people use the word turf for anyone who is transphobic, like Carl Benjamin, despite the fact that for years he's been making videos, for you know, nearly nine years now he's been making videos talking about how he hates feminism, and yet he's been called a trans-exclusionary radical feminist because he hates trans people, but he's not a feminist so he can't be a, can't be a turf anyway. Patton Oswald took a save with self with Dave Chappelle on New Year's Eve and had to write an entire essay apologizing for it. Okay, it's starting to get back to the point where I'm able to not pause every single time and look for a stone toss tweet, so I think I'm going to have to do that. Remember that time I had like a dozen lefty stone toss copycats at once until they all floundered in quite good times. That's what red flag and username. They used for a multi-billion dollar social media company. Imagine they're sticking it to the man. Getter, more like grifter. Starting to think there isn't a Lord of the Rings lore video on YouTube I haven't watched. Absolute mad lads, Tom Bombadil. Appears at the very beginning of time for no reason. Not even the elves know what he is, puts the ring on and does nothing to him. Laughs about it, keeps it back. Council, Council consider asking to take the ring of my doom. Nafam refuses to elaborate further sings. He's also buying in his extremely hot wife, who could also be some type of godly being. I've seen all the theories. He is Uru, he is Uru's son. He is Uru's first creation and decided to stay and hang out. He is token self insert. He just is, despite him having a big role. Near the beginning of Lord of the Rings, what Tom Bombadil is never gets explained, even the even in Tolkien's letters, hence all the theories. I think Tolkien just stuck him in there as a meme. <coughs> Comedians could be prescribed on NHS to help patients struggling with trauma. Imagine being depressed, having anxiety, suicidal thoughts, and all other kinds of mental health problems. Then after nine months on an NHS waiting list, you walk into the fairy room just see me standing there in microphone and I'm naked. So anyway, despite Ignore Bogendorf died today, just six days after his twin brother. Rika, our crypto bags are now safe. HMRC, pay tax, me, okay, here, can't accept that without a reference number, where did I get that from us, can I have it, no, am I supposed to pay with a reference number, which you won't give me, pay tax, 
They can't even steal from me properly. Having all my taxes sitting there waiting to be paid but the government refuses to take it is a start, I suppose. Who's Dave? What are you talking about? So, 